Alright motherfuckers, how you guys doing on this Friday, December 22nd, 2023, MOD coming at you with another fucking video coming to you from the MOD Crypt. If you missed anything in the past week, click the I bring down the menu. Everything that you need to get caught up on all the latest videos is there, I'd appreciate it. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that bell for all notifications so you know when I post a new fucking video. MOD giving you only the real underground elite metal, as always, raw fucking intolerance. Welcome to Metal Album Warfare Fridays here on the channel, and tonight we got an awesome battle with two OSDM elites. That's right, motherfuckers, we've got Morbid Angel, Altars of Madness, going up against Malevolent Creations, The Ten Commandments, and I gotta tell you, man, both of these fucking albums are so goddamn pivotal and important in the creation of death metal. Absolutely. I mean, so many bands owe their influences to these two fucking titans and many more. Now, Altars of Madness was released in 1989 on Earache Records and The Ten Commandments was released in 1991 on RC Records. Now, for those of you who've been living under a rock, and I, I don't know how you could be living under a rock, but you should know that these bands are among the pioneers of the first and second wave of death metal, okay? With Altars of Madness being released in 89, you could consider it first wave and of course, you know, with um, Malevolent Creation being released in 1991, they're part of the second wave. But Morbid Angel had two demos out before 1990, so of course, first wave. And I think even Malevolent Creation had a couple demos out before 1991. So they're both on that, right on that threshold of first and second wave death metal. So these are a perfect. Uh, Battle. This is a perfect battle with these two albums. I mean, it's just that fucking symbol. All right, let's just get into it. First up, from Morbid Angel, we have Immortal Rights versus Memorial Arrangements from Malevolent Creation. And I got to tell you, man, Immortal Rights, one of the best opening tracks on a death metal album from Morbid Angel. It's so goddamn brutal and very con uh, emotional. It's constructed with precision crafting, immaculate guitar work. That raw, dirty production, and of course, those goddamn vocals are just off the damn charts. Morbid Angel really struck gold with this, and you could kind of consider this to be a little bit of a death thrash album from Morbid Angel, because you have to remember, in 89, there were still bands playing around with thrash metal while they incorporated death metal as, and stuff like that. Now, Memorial Arrangements, great track here from Malevolent Creation. Fast, brutal, intense, grinding guitar work with a lot of low churning end chugs coming in there but also has that thrash metal uh, as well and absolutely incredible vocals on this track as well. They're both getting a point. Next up we have Suffocation from Morbid Angel versus Premature Burial from Malevolent Creation and I gotta tell you man, two amazing tracks. Suffocation has this great build and then this cross and bridge. There's some amazing riffs on here with great bass work, drum work, blasting cacophony with those crazy fucking deep death metal vocals once again. And just incredible stuff. I mean, Altars of Madness, one of the best goddamn death metal albums of all time, but so is uh, The Ten Commandments, Premature Burial from Eleven Creation, very fast, aggressive, and dark. There's a lot of great guitar work, some in immaculate songwriting here, and I really love the bass and the vocals. I like the catchiness of this track and the groove that comes in in parts. Premature Burial also gets points, so does Suffocation, so we have a 2 2 tie. Next up, we've got Visions from the Dark Side versus Remnants of. Withered Decay. Now, um, Visions from the Dark Side is obviously Morbid Angel, Remnants of Withered Decay, Malevolent Creation. Gotta tell you, man, Visions from the Dark Side, a really great track here for Morbid Angel, one of my favorites on the record. I find myself coming back to this one a lot, but I spin the whole album all the time. But Visions from the Dark Side really elevates the album. It pushes new heights in terms of aggression and speed. 
uh, and the guitar riffs on here are very original, very fucking incredible. Lots of fucking uh, just bone churning, goddamn pummeling drum work on here as well. And remnants of more, uh, Wither Decay from Eleven Creation, very fast and speedy. Uh, there's a lot of thrash elements here, but again, that low tune death metal guitar work, great vocals and bass. I mean, both these tracks getting a point as well. We've got a 3 3 tie. Next up, Maze of Torment from Alters of Manus versus Multiple Stab Wounds from the Ten Commandments. Gotta tell you, man, both incredible tracks. Okay, Maze of Torment definitely sounds tormented. There's a slow build that comes in in the middle and then speeds up again that really gives it some great tempo shifting and incredible immaculate guitar work. Um, vocally, it's in incredible, okay? And there's some really great highs on here as well and it just elevates the brutality to new heights. Very brutal, great double bass on this track as well. Multiple stab wounds from Malevolent Creation. I mean, what can I say? It's iconic. It's requested at so many of their live shows. And they do play uh, quite a few tracks from this album when they do their live shit. So, I mean, Multiple Stab Wounds is absolutely fucking awesome. One of the best death metal songs of all time, especially in Morbid Malevolent Creation's discography. Sorry. I mean, absolutely awesome. Both getting a point four four tie. All right, next, Lord of All, uh, Lord of All Fevers and Plague versus Impaled Existence. Okay, so Lord of All Fevers and Plague from Morbid Angel, uh, Impaled Existence, Malevolent Creation. What can I say, man? The, the, the album just is perfect. Both these albums are perfect. Uh, this is a really great track here from Morbid Angel. There's a lot of build and slowdown on here, but a lot of speed and aggression. Very dominant death metal guitar work. It's very thunderous, energetic, and emotional. So is uh, Impaled Existence from Malevolent Creation. I mean, two amazing tracks and well written, well composed. You could tell that these bands were hungry and pissed off at this time and this is back when death metal actually had some emotion to it and you can certainly feel the aggression and the rage on both these tracks both getting the point we got a 5-5 five, five tie next chapel of ghouls from morbid angel versus thou shall kill from malevolent creation what uh an amazing comparison here two amazing tracks brutal fucking death metal not bdm but you know what i mean uh for for this time period for this early in death metal <clears throat> Two of the heaviest songs, in my opinion, to come out at this time. Uh, really love the guitar work on both. Love the riffs. Love the bass, vocals, and drums from both tracks. And just too memorable. Absolutely too memorable to pick a winner. Both getting a point. We have a 6-6 six, six tie. Next, Bleed from the Devil. Bleed for the Devil from Morb Angel versus Sacrifice Annihilation from Malevolent Creation, man. Disturbing, dark, hateful fucking crazy death metal once again i mean the guitar riffs on both these tracks are memorable as hell you got some great groove and catchiness to these the drum work is amazing the production on both of these albums is that raw muddy death metal production that should be the way forward i mean that should how the that's how the production should be to this day for modern death metal now with the underground stuff it is but with all this fucking tech death fucking jerk off wankery it's it doesn't exist it's all clean and polished it's fucking bullshit i hate that garbage but yeah i mean absolutely amazing both getting a point of seven seven tie next we have damnation from morbid angel versus decadence within from malevolent creation amazing stuff um just incredible instrumental tracks with those awesome vocals instrumentally amazing i mean i cannot get enough of both these albums the blast beats the guitar work the double bass the fucking Death metal aesthetic fully intact. That rage and aggression fully intact. Um, out, awesome stuff. Both getting a point. We have an 8-8 tie. Next, Blasphemy from Morbid Angel versus um, Injected Suffrage from Malevolent Creation. What can I say? Amazing stuff, man. You, it's very difficult for me to say one track is better than the other on these two albums because of how pivotal and important these two records are. Okay, they're absolutely awesome. Blasphemy fucking sick track from morbid angel full of rage and aggression and dominance and fucking great low churning death metal guitar work with some great chugging and some great thrash metal speed then you have injected suffrage from malevolent creation it's the same goddamn thing man they're just from different spectrums uh but when it comes to death metal they know what they're doing they're both getting a point of nine nine tie next evil spells from morbid angel versus the title track of the band malevolent creation i gotta tell you man incredible okay fast dark, hateful, aggressive, churning, 
disturbing stuff here, man. I mean, brutal death metal the way it should be, okay? Brutality, aggression, but also emotion. The lyrics actually are decipherable on these two releases. This is old school death metal brilliance. This is what every band should be doing in death metal is the way of the old school back in the 80s and the 90s instead of worrying about how brutal your vocals can be like actually have lyrics and actually have emotion and death metal would be much more enjoyable for me these two albums absolutely fucking amazing both of these getting a point let's set up the scores altars of madness coming in with 10 points 10 commandments coming in with 10 points we have a tie and of course we do because these two albums absolutely set the world ablaze for extreme metal and influence so many fucking bands going forward there's no way i could pick a winner between these two albums they are absolute fucking classics and i know that's not the original cover uh for altars of madness but i mean come on man these two fucking albums are absolutely essential if you don't have them i, I don't know why you wouldn't have them hail the fucking underground killer stuff. All right, there you have it. Another metal album, more fears in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below. Turn the bell for notifications. Uh, gonna bring up my merch right now. Janelle working on new stuff. Check out that awesome new shirt on bonfire.com forward slash store forward slash music dash of dash destruction. Fucking killer. Spread the plague, annihilate the human race. You can get the hoodie, the long sleeve, t-shirt, whatever you want, and it comes in three different colors, blue, red, and black. What more do you want? Thank you to Barry, Rich, Josh, Justin, and Anthony, who have all bought shirts so far. Hopefully, I get some more purchases in the merchandise. Go check it out. I'd really appreciate it. Join the channel. Become an MLD Elite VIP channel member. You get great perks. Two forty nine for your first month. Four on that. Four ninety nine thereafter. Uh, five bucks a month gives you access to exclusive content, review requests within reason, band interviews, and promotions. You've seen me do that for everybody that's a member. Collaborations for other metal YouTubers. You have to have a metal YouTube channel. Um, and you're going to get moderator privileges on live streams and you're going to get, uh, you know, shout outs and all kinds of cool shit like that, man. I mean, it's a no brainer. I'm also going to be gifting a few memberships in the spirit of Christmas for at least one or one month, maybe two months. Uh, also, super chats always open on the live stream. So make sure you get those in those help immensely. And I do appreciate all my channel members and subscribers. All right, man, that's going to do it for this fucking video. I'm fucking out of here.